This is another tutorial from MME Chicago Design Studios. In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating groups in MailChimp and how to use those groups. We're going to create, we're going to assign a group to a specific subscriber. We'll show you how to do that. And we're also going to show you how to assign a group to a number or more than one subscriber. Once we are in the MailChimp account, we have logged in successfully, we need to go to Lists. Once at Lists, we can click on the newsletter in the news the list in question. In this case, it's newsletter mailing. And from here, we can click Manage Subscribers. Under Manage Subscribers, there is an option called Groups. Now, Group is associated with a specific mailing list. What's nice about groups is you have a single mailing list but each person within that mailing list can be added to different groups. When you decide to make a campaign, which is right here, you can select to include all 320 people from the newsletter mailing list or you can select a sublist called session or general. In this case, we're going to create a new group. We'll do that by clicking on this button. And we're going to create a group name. In this group name, we're going to call it Volunteers. So we might have, this is going to be our volunteer group. That's going to be the group title. But what are going to be the other associated group names? Under Volunteers, we might have men who are volunteers, women who are volunteers, children that are volunteers. We might have older people who are volunteers, elders who are volunteers, and we might have people who attend other churches. The reason why we create group names is because we might want to send a newsletter to say thank you to another church. We might want to say thank you to the men of the church. We might want to have a thank you to the volunteers and the women of the church. Or send a thank you out to students or children. Let's save that group. Now that we've saved this group, it gives us the option to import. Done. Your new group has been added to your list. Import to these groups. Do we want to import subscribers into this group? We could do that. We could select import and it will ask us, give us a number of options. We can import from a CSV or a text file. So let's suppose you had a Yahoo account with an entire list of people that you have exported that were volunteers. You could select import, select the file, import that from your browser, and they would automatically be imported into your volunteers list. For right now, we're going to go back and we'll see that our volunteers group has been created. But how do we add people to our volunteers group? Here's how we do that. We're going to click on the newsletter list name number. In this case, 320. And that'll link us to all 320 people that we currently have in our news mailing list. When we do that, what we'll do is we can select a number of different people. And we can select Action, Add Group, and we can select all of the people that we just checked happen to be men, women, children, elders, or attenders from other churches. You see, we can associate the people in one list with a variety of different groups so that when we create campaigns, we can direct the email notifications or thank you letters to a specific group in question. Instead of say, sending out a newsletter that goes to everyone, we send newsletters that are specific to the needs or requirements of a specific group of people. And that's how you use groups. Let's suppose 
we wanted to add a single person. We could do the same thing. We could select the name with the checkbox here and select the Actions tab above, or we could actually select the person by clicking on their email and coming down and editing the groups that they subscribe to. From here we can select that this person happens to be Mr. Armstrong. We put he's a man, he's a member, and maybe he's, a, he's an elder in session. Now anytime we send a newsletter to session or to members or to men, he'll automatically receive that newsletter. A really nice way of organizing our subscribers so that they get the information that's relevant to them. And that's how we use groups.